this, I believe, I could be wrong. I think this was the first DVD we ever received. How do you know this? I believe it was. Wow. I think it was. <laughs> wow. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's up Corbin. Two years later. <laughs> And he falls on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter Juicy Content. Thanks to my Patreon followers, should have carried me about Canadian Scott. And follow us on our YouTube channel, thanks to the description below. And I, I have something to say about I, that I, very fact. I believe, I believe I'm right. Uh, let me know if I, I, if it wasn't the first, it was one of the first couple that yeah. we received. But I think it was the first, so we will eventually get to your request. <laughs> eventually. Um, we do get there. Yeah. But, uh, today... Bahubali 2, 2093. You've already seen the title of this, so this is, uh, a review for the, I believe, I believe it's Hindi film Parched. Uh, the 2015 film directed by Lina, say, say... That. Lina Yadav. Lina Yadav. Um, starring, uh, say, say that? Um... Tanish the Chatterjee, forgive me for mispronouncing your first name. Um, Radhika Apte, which I, and Ronnie told me it's, we were calling her Radhika, and it's Radhika. Radhika. Radhika Apte. Okay, yes. Radhika. I believe that's correct. I'm trusting Andrani. Uh, Radhika Apte, uh, Serveen Chawla, uh, Lehar Khan, and Reedy Sam. Yes. Yes. Uh, lots of people. And then it was also produced by a bunch of people, but most notably, Ajay Devgan. Yep. Uh, produced this film. But yes, this is uh, how we like to do things. This is going to be a 100% spoiler review. I don't know if a lot of you have seen it. I don't know how big of a... It seems very independent to me. So my, my assumption is a lot of people have not seen this film. Right? Um, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. We don't want to spoil you. That's not what we like to do here. Yep. Um, but uh, this will be a 100% spoiler review. So. Yep, 100% spoiler. Go ahead. Um, I haven't written anything because I have so much I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, I'm guessing a lot of Indians haven't seen the film mm -hmm. because why this film wouldn't have been the film that every Indian and stupid baby wasn't daily begging us to watch. Mm -hmm. I don't understand because for me, drum roll, um, when you take header and you set header over here for its magnificence, but it has a limitation by the reason of the fact that if you don't know Hamlet or Shakespeare, mm -hmm. you won't, you won't appreciate it as much. This is the most important film we've seen and the one I would recommend above every other film that we have seen thus far. Even a similar one as Hellera. Great comparison. Mm -hmm. Because they feel and look so similar. Yeah. The only difference between Hellerau and this one is this one is def this one has much, yeah. much bigger balls. Yeah. I, my, I, this one is a absolute kick in the nuts. I'm glad you thought that way. One because I would have punched you if you didn't. Like <laughs> it uh, it I, is. It is. It is. I have. I, I'm gonna go on and on and on about how much I love this film. Fucking love this movie. It's it's my favorite thing and my high, most recommended thing that we've seen thus far. Ever? Yep. Other than he other than header being what header is. Uh, header is what header is. But if I was going to recommend a film that I thought then here's the difference. There's a bunch not just for Americans, but Indians. Yeah. See, most of the films we see, it's like this is what the West needs to see. This is what the yeah, West yeah, needs yeah, to yeah. see. This is what Indians need to see. Yeah. Everybody needs to see this. Yeah. This Everybody was, should see I, this. I, I really enjoyed this film. Oh. Um, it, it was. It's an incredibly difficult watch at times, but then also incredibly touching as well. It's just at, at times. It's a powerhouse of female empowerment <laughs> and acting. As well, basically all your leads and writing and cinematography. Yeah. Uh, all your leads are mostly female, um, but I mean, okay, we can just we can just get into it. Yeah, I I adore this film. Uh, I want to talk about uh, let's talk about the acting. That's just because we like to talk about Radhika. She would have gotten. She would have won every category in our awards that we just did. Oh, I already. Uh, I just went into the the 
um, the dummies for 2021, mm -hmm. cleaned the slate for all of them, and there's seven. There's already seven nominations for me for this yeah. film. <laughs> uh, it, they, there was a bunch of amazing performances, and we'll get into all of them, but hers specifically, she gave me a different feel than she's actually given me in all of her other stuff. And we've seen quite a few of her things. Yeah. She gave me an, an innocence in this, but also like um, a danger as well. Uh, and so the, usually she has a more edgy feel to her and she right. did have a little bit, but it was a lot more of a, I don't know how to describe it. It was a very complex character in this one. And I thought it was beautiful. The one scene where her and, um, this, I believe, in it to say the same. Well, you can say the character. It's Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah. When she came into the hut and she was bruised up and so she started to attack oh. and then she was, you know, touching her breasts and all that. Um, that whole scene was so well done. So beautiful. Um, the fact that you you were first like... Because I, I had thought that I was like, maybe they have tendencies towards each other. Right. And they very well might. They kind of just brushed over that. And so it could have been a thing. But then it ended up being just two women that have never experienced the touch of somebody who loves them exactly and that's what they were that's what they were longing is just to be touched and loved and that's what they were finding in each other whether it's romantic it, it, it evolves into something romantic or if it's just these two yeah, friends that was love each point. other yeah it wasn't the point it was an absolute well written obviously beautifully acted scene um, and it, <laughs> that was just such a beautiful moment. She, I think, just like when Lena Headey uh, uh, did in um, Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. when she had to walk down and, and that vulnerability she had. The same thing. I would, I would immediately give her an Oscar for this. I yeah, would... I, I. It is unquestionably my favorite thing we've seen her do. Yeah, it is a. It's one of the roles, and I feel this way for the three main ladies. It's like they were, they were straight up born to play those three women. Oh, and I can't. <clears throat> I would be really hard pressed to pick another role I've seen a woman do that I like more than what Radhika Op Opti did in Parched. Yeah. The, the, that scene and then the other scene. Duh. When they're in the cave. Oh. By, uh, did you yeah, that's what I did the minute I saw him. Well, I had to do a double because I knew he was in it and I was like, I haven't seen him yet. And, and he looked he different. Did, he Turned up and I was like, is that him? He's the lover. Yeah, and so I started calling him... Um, lover man. Uh, no, uh, oh. what is it? Uh, what's his name? The Endel, right? Um, 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 I'm sorry we don't know your name. Off yeah, and, and yeah. yeah. A Adel Endel. Endel Hassan, the Wonderschlong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's booked his credit as Mystic Lover. Yeah, no. But Wonderschlong. Yeah, yeah. Adel the Wonderschlong. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that, um, her, that whole scene, first of all, and we're going to get into the cinematography yeah, 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 in a second. Yeah. But um, when he be, when when she there's two moments for her in that. The first moment is when she realizes he's not going to rape her. Mm -hmm. When he just touches her feet and the look in her face and her eyes of she's never been touched like that. She's always never known had a man touch as her a, like a aggressive. She's just been the receptacle. Yeah. You know, and she even referred to the marks of love mm -hmm. on her br bruised body, right? And then the absolute wonder, credulity to tears when not only was she not being raped, but he gently caresses her, her cheeks and the tears just start streaming down her face. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, if this, ah, I wish this had been a film that had been made with more, this just should have, I mean, that's Oscar level stuff that she did. Also, did it get a theatrical release? Cause this was, uh, from what I can tell, the first time we've seen a woman outside of OTT platforms, nude. It's the most- Unless I'm wrong. It is, it's the first Indian film we've seen that actually depicts female nudity and sexuality for a woman in many respects, unlike any other Indian film from any region. Mm -hmm. Just the conversation that they're laughing about the phone ringing yeah. and that they can get pleasured by a phone. That is... <laughs> the fact that it was Shah Rukh Khan. I know. <laughs> the most brilliant writing. That she's, you sat on Shah Rukh Khan? Yeah. 
And all of those lines about, you know, thank you for the T-Mobile, whatever it was, the, yeah. just the joke about it vibrating and that who needs a man when yeah. you got a mobile phone. Yeah. Um, that, we'll get into that aspect Yeah, but of I, was, as well. I was wondering if it, because I believe the censor board would just not allow that. They wouldn't. That's from what we've gathered, not only just from what we know about the censor board, but from what we've seen. We've yet to Never see. Never seen anything like outside that. Outside of OTT platforms, we haven't seen it on OTT platforms. All the more reason why. This film is so important mm -hmm. and so good. So I didn't look at the credits on anything until after, mm -hmm. right? And I, thankfully with the DVD, there's some behind the scenes stuff. Gotcha, okay, cool. So you can look at the supplemental footage, but one of the things, <laughs> one of the things I didn't know, I was just looking through the, um, as I, the, I was taking notes while the film's going, and I noticed how great the cinematography was without standing out, which is even more difficult. Mm -hmm some moments of like dual focus where both foreground and background are in focus but not calling attention to itself yeah and it's just a tip of the hat it's like i i, I see a cinematographer i know that's not an easy shot to capture and you mm -hmm. didn't even call attention to it because you just want it to be a dual focus right now and give the depth and you have to go out of your way to make that shot work mm -hmm. there were so many shots like that that went out of their way to make themselves work uh and i thought that scene with the two girls and then with her with the lover were so the magnificently wonderful. magnificently shot and it's not a surprise the cinematographer is russell carpenter he has a long resume including the fact that he won the oscar for cinematography for titanic oh is that who it is yes <laughs> and he's currently working on all of the avatar sequences oh jeez. so there's a reason this yeah, film looks as good as it does still be, like a lot of the shots once with the with the whatever motorcycle they were running with that all the lights and then it would shine on their faces yes yeah, some of the most beautiful shots beautiful and, shots but i do want to talk about the other two lead actresses yeah um, that's what we can say there's gonna be a two-hour video for yeah like her ronnie was just as phenomenal as, as radica 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 oh, yeah. um but I had a more complex relationship with her character mm. because she was a very complex character. Very, very, because very. At times you're like, you, you fell for her, but then other times she was being an absolute asshole. But she was but the, you, you know why. Exactly. <laughs> um, because, you know, she basically bought into what, you know, she's been told about, you know, she had to defend her son. She was basically um, rationing why her son was acting the way he was acting and, and all this kind of stuff. But like, she was like sweet as Radhika a lot of times, but then sometimes she would, lash out at certain people because that's still all she knew but then you know she was still being an asshole right <laughs> and so i was like it's hard for me to love you and that was <laughs> so well written which is why i would give it a nomination for writing because those three characters those three ladies um you know bidgley represents really what would be considered the whoredom of the west mm -hmm. right and then you have the oppressed woman in radhika's case where I love the fact that the Baroness was not hers. I my love my I wife love called that. that. She was like, uh, has yeah. he got tested? Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. But her character was very complex because she was, <laughs> she was kind of the, the, the balance between the two worlds, the balance between, uh, the, the progressive human rights person versus the one who was still regimented within the traditions and what was going on with her society at the time. And that, that for me is where, making the comparison to Hellerau, um, this, this film, like no other film that I've seen, and because it's an empowering film on more levels than just the, the women you empowerment. Did you watch this with your daughters? I, I, I tried. Yeah. So here's what I did. I'm gonna, I'll, fin I'll finish this thought after I say that. Okay. Uh, I immediately told Andrani and said, okay, tomorrow morning, I want to get all the kids together. I want to watch this and I want to watch it with you. And I would like to get your feedback before I do the review. And then I want to do an afterthought. It didn't work out. Partly because of Southern California Edison turning off my power <laughs> for the 57th time. Gotcha. Um, so we tried. I actually went over to Ashley's. We had set up. I was going to try and watch it, but we're going to watch yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I want their feedback and I want Micah's feedback. But... The, I, I wrote, one of the notes I wrote down was, uh, there was a line where one of the men said, society has rules for a reason. And, it, and this is the larger picture of what's the importance of this film is that it talks about human rights. And that when the traditions, customs, superstitions, or rules of a society oppress, suppress, or abuse human rights, 
something's wrong. And there are rights that human beings have, there are rights that women have, mm -hmm. that when those rights are being oppressed or taken away from them in the name of something other than just what is their right to have as a human being, that needs to be addressed and it needs to be changed. And I felt like this did a magnificent job of doing that without making the customs and the, the superstitions or the societal rules become stereotypical bad guy stuff. You know what I mean? Like even, okay, really Sen. Talk about a shapeshifter because I didn't see any of that other character from the Bengali film we saw. And that, those films are two years apart. Yeah. Uh, so hats off because you played an asshole phenomenal perfect brother. i almost didn't want to put him down as someone i would nominate for supporting actor because i i it, i disliked him He's so one much of those characters that irks you for sure but it, it, he was absolutely perfect yeah he was that's exact and that that i wrote that down too about this whole um idea about manhood being about anger alcohol and abuse it was like, that's the rite of passage that these fuck boys are sitting around talking about, you know, how my AK-47 works good and I did her right mm -hmm. and all of that crap. It doesn't make you a man, it makes you an asshole. Yeah. And it's that culture that is where rape culture comes from and where the oppression of women comes from. Yeah. And it's not masculinity. Yeah. Uh, masculinity was the lover in the cave. Yeah. That was true masculinity. Yeah. Uh, and the, the moment where he's... Uh, Reedy Sen is with his wife, right? Who she did a great job oh, as she well. Was girl with the, that whole story was another great story of her yeah. hair cutting. But he says, "You hear, uh, um, what's your name? Uh, Who? Radhika? Ronnie. Ronnie. Oh. You hear her hearing her son and his wife, and you hear him before he's about to rape her. Yeah. He says, "What's your name?" And I, I just wrote down, "Sex is an intimate act. Shouldn't the participants at least know one another's name first? And sex is supposed to be a loving act. Shouldn't the participants at least get to know one another first? And <clears throat> that's the stuff of this film that for me, is, it is the writing, the direction, the cinematography, every single role that's being portrayed and the story, it's just a freaking bottom of the ninth grand slam win game seven of the World Series. Absolutely. Yeah, I loved, I loved. And the, the end, even though, it's not my particular taste for happy endings. I love even though it. I wasn't sure I liked the the last line. I would prefer like I think that was probably my biggest issue is that this time I'm gonna well, I'm, whatever I do, I'm gonna let my heart decide. I think I would have preferred that not be in there. I would have been fine with the sentiment of them just going wherever they want. Just, sure. I don't like that. I liked it. I don't like that specific line. I love like, it. That's a little cheesy to me. I loved it. But I was like, they've been through enough. I'll give them this happiness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've been through enough. And I'm glad even like all the women, and I loved when the husband got burned, Radhika's uh, oh, husband, it was phenomenal. And the juxtaposition oh, yeah, and the, of the Durga divine going and, on and the, the burning up of evil and how that played side by side I with actually the evil burning was, up. I thought it was brilliant. Brilliant. Chief said if it's a boy, we're going to name him um, Ram because mm -hmm. he's going to eliminate evil from the world. I'm like, yeah. well, he's already starting, so great job, son. It's, but that, <laughs> that exact connectivity of what was going on at the festival mm -hmm. and the narration going on in the very festival representing the fact that the divine was going to uh, burn and forever rid evil right yep and simultaneously the evil one is being burned in the room that that is not an easy thing to do in a good way mm -hmm. that can become heavy-handed yeah. it was not heavy-handed it was perfectly executed you know, we haven't talked about i mean we've have oh, talked about we it. We will, but yeah, um, Serene Chawla. Um, who played obviously the, the whore in this one. Um, she was such a, she did so well. Uh, one, she looked very Best supporting actress. For, for she is very familiar. I didn't know where I thought her. Do we know where we saw her? Where? But I had to look it up. Where was it? We've seen her in a couple of things, most especially she was in Sacred Games. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and she was also in, what was the other, we saw her in another film. Um, but I, I thought the, the three of them were so perfectly cast. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was such a beautiful friendship. There was, there was the, the writing in this was just so, so good. 
um, be, between her and and her love interest. Yes, uh, and he was great. Which he was he was really he did good a as great well. job. I was super sad because I didn't quite understand. Uh, did he actually want to be her pimp, or did she just interpret that because she didn't want to be married? Because I thought he was proposing and. I didn't, he did say, I will handle the business, but I, I guess I didn't take that as I'll be your pimp, but I guess no. that could have been, that could have been what he was saying. I don't yeah. know. I, 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 I don't know. The yeah. way it struck me in the scene, you know, what, I knew it was going to be him at the bus stop, right? Yeah, I was yeah. like, it's going to be him. And I was really hoping what we had seen, which is he loves her for her, Yeah. that he was just going to tell her that. I think him telling her that was his way of trying to point out all the positives to get her to say yes, mm. terrified she's gonna say no. Mm. So rather than just outright say, I love you for who you are and I wanna spend the rest of my life with you because she could easily say no to that in his eyes, it was, I've gotta present this to her in the most marketable way possible and mm. get her to get a yes. And then when she says yes, I can really open up my heart. But the mistake was, yeah. she took it the way she should. Yeah, it I, was, didn't, I didn't know how to take it because I was like, I didn't think that's what he was saying. I didn't, but I, I guess don't think it could have been. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was really complicated. It was such a complicated relationship with all three of them because yeah. they all had that that tension of do they do they romantically like each other, right? Or do they just is this just a beautiful friendship? And I like that they left that. I, I like that. It, like too. even the scene, like we were talking about at the beginning, it's like. You don't, you don't know. You don't know. It was it. They might have romantic intentions down the road, but also the way I took that scene was, it's just a beautiful. They wanted to be touched. They wanted to be loved. They yeah. wanted to feel like a woman who, who is touched by someone who loves them. Yeah. And so, but you don't know. And I love the vagueness of that. Yeah. I love vague writing. And um, and the larger picture for me, where I said comparatively with Hellerau, because Hellerau is also about um, human rights and it's about the rights of women. This one has bigger teeth and bigger balls yeah. because it it does um, it cuts both ways. It's the kind of film that I know Western people could see and be moved by the artistry and moved at a level that would make them be, I think, blown away at the level of artistry in India. Yeah. But I think also what would be really important is for there's so many people that I know in India who either come from places like this or are in places like this where there is this, uh, there hasn't been an advancement in an understanding of human rights. Yeah. And human rights are actually something that, while there were natural rights, human rights on planet Earth really haven't become an issue except, except for empire. Like, the king says, this is the way it's going to be. So mm -hmm. the Roman Empire mm -hmm. said, well, you'll get these rights because this is our law. But they weren't based on inalienable rights. Yeah. And this film touches on that aspect and it stems from the woman and the rights that a woman should have, but that goes to all human rights and how there are inalienable rights that transcend kingdom and country. And it's why the United States, the United Nations has a charter about human rights and there's international law. Yeah. But that's my lifetime. Mm -hmm. I mean, 1940 after the Holocaust. Yeah. And then the 1970s is when international human rights actually began to become Part of the conversation mm -hmm. in how many years of human existence yeah so human rights have just begun to really take hold and this is one that screams about their importance so yeah we obviously loved it um, love um, it, was, it was a phenomenal film it actually <laughs> cemented my even though it was basically already my thought that Radhika is my favorite and i think the best actress in indian cinema uh obviously taboo and there's a bunch yeah, of other no, i can't that argue are, with that, that are phenomenal but she uh, we will see everything she does, just like Nawaz, just like Monoj. We will see everything they do eventually. <laughs> she actually, I just saw her directorial debut was this year. She directed her short film. Radhika? Yeah, Radhika. Oh. I, I couldn't find where it is. I don't know if it's nominated for, uh, I'm sure it's going through festivals and stuff, but I would love to see it. Uh, well, and if you, if for some chance at any point down the road you happen to be watching this, you magnificent thespian, mm -hmm. I want to applaud not just your capacity as an actor, but I want to applaud, and I know you agree, your guts to live privately in public with this role mm -hmm. and to shed every wall in order to advance a message that was so important with your fellow castmates 
uh, I can think of no other role I've seen a male or female actor do that was more brave, more daring, more honest, and more captivating than you in this film. Yep, absolutely. And writer director, um, uh, uh, Lena. Yeah. Lena Yadov, make more movies like this. Yeah. You pretty much made a perfect film about this subject matter and you wrote and directed it and I don't have enough accolades. Yeah. Uh, and so let us know what's the next Radhika uh, film we should watch. And, and these other women as well. I want to watch all of these ladies. And Reedy Sen. Mm -hmm. Even though he was a, a smaller in this, obviously we loved him in his, his other role and it was one of the best roles that he get, you gave it the award and he was, oh. my, he was my runner up. Um, so we think he's a very talented actor so we want to see more of him as well. And, Please. And of course the Wanderschlong. Always let us <laughs> <laughs> He will forever in my head. <laughs> Andal the okay. Wanderschlong. <laughs> so when the day comes that we get to interview him, are you going to call him the Wanderschlong? I will 100% call you. 